Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the previous episode we cleared all of Spiral Mountain and now we're going into Mumbo's Mountain, which is the first level of the game and might want to be one of the most memorable levels ever in my opinion. Anyways, there's going to be a couple more tutorial stuff and we're going to learn three new moves in here. Hot diggity dang, ain't that going to be cool? Little Bottle's going to have to cut you off momentarily. So we're going to meet these guys called the Jinjos. Jinjos, basically you collect five of them, you get another Jiggy. It's not necessarily lazy, but collecting them is pretty stinking nice. And oh my gosh, everything talks. Everything talks. Let's get this blue Jinjo over here and get these notes that are underwater. Now I know this level like the back of my hand. If you're expecting um every level of this Let's Play to be done as quickly as Mumbles Mountain, I have, sorry to say, this is kind of the shortest level and I'm probably going to be the quickest. <laughs> I actually don't know if I should do a world of video or like, what do you guys want to see? And I need to change the camera a little bit so I don't drown because I've been underwater for far too long. Anyways, we got 13 notes so far. Not looking too bad. Hey, there's some fishes. Nice. And exactly one little seaweed thing. That's cool. All right. So now, see, Mumbo's Mountain's a little bit weird. You're essentially, no matter what you do, you're going to have to backtrack to one of the areas. And let's avoid this ox, because he cannot be killed right now and destroy that honeycomb thing before I'll have a chance to annoy us with its dialogue. And all right. Over here is what I'm going to do first. This is my favorite NPC ever. Nah, this conga's three. Me hit bud with oranges. Yeah, let me know how that's going down. And don't touch conga's bro. <laughs> we apparently found his uh, treasure, which wasn't held very secretly at all. It's kind of just sitting on the ground, uh, get captured. But hey, we're all set. We got our first jiggy of the level. Nine more to go. <laughs> we also got to be on the lookout for those rare honeycomb pieces, which we're gonna get to. And yeah, 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 just bottles. I know how to play the game, man. I know how to play. I mean, I appreciate the fact you're trying to give me tips and all. But your fight taking too far too long. And we steal one of Conga's oranges and give it to this monkey dude. Yeah. Oh, Chimpy, like Conga's orange. Chimpy, help bear. Yeah. Okay. See you later, Chimpy. <laughs> See you in Diddy Kong Racing at some point, I guess. Which is a really interesting thing. When Diddy Kong Racing came out, Banjo was just a sub character. No one thought he was going to have this awesome companion and go on this really amazing adventure. Oh my gosh, can I do this right? <laughs> already messing up on the first episode. Not too. Actually, this is technically the second episode. And we get it. Your eggs. We can learn to use you as ammo. That's interesting and all bottles. What you got for me? Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. <laughs> Hold the right or left trigger and press Y to shoot eggs. Yeah. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Uh, sure. Press B instead and you can shoot them out of your behind. <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> Wish I never asked. And Bird Brand can carry 100 eggs in her backpack. It's our backpack! What? <laughs> it's kind of weird. But yes, this is a pretty important move. Arku and you get it. It's pretty nice. But something else that is semi important is I really forgot to mention this before. This is an equal token. Me and Mumbo's token. It was for Mumbo's magic. You need five of these. There's five in the level. You want to get them all, basically. And yeah. Let's shoot these eggs at Conga. Because we're going to get a third Sniggin. Jiggy from this place, and I don't remember how to exactly trigger him to get hit. I think we'd have to dodge the oranges and then hit him. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> and, oh, bear beats Conga. Me give you prize to bear. Okay, sounds fair enough. So yes, Kong, this literal like little area of the game gives us like three jiggies. That's how small Mumbles Mountain is. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just kind of funny to think about because some of the levels in the rare games get gigantic. Like, I don't know, man. The sequel has some of the biggest worlds ever. And things a bit slippy. Oh, find me and I'll teach you how to get up there. Yeah, we're going to do that next because that is probably the most useful new, or <laughs> new move that Bottles will teach us. Not noob move. Really, it's pretty much required to beat the game. I don't understand how only noobs would use it, and that is a giant termite. But more on that later. What we want to do is we want to come over here and visit Bottles for the second time because he's going to teach us something new. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie steep soaps with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger and press the left trigger. Continue to hold him, and you're good to go. Yeah, this is pretty much my favorite move. It just makes the game so much faster. You move insanely quickly. And it's all around pretty helpful. And yeah, there is our fourth Jiggy. 
Dang, we're doing pretty we're doing pretty well. So now all we gotta do is get my main focus right now is to get all of the Jinjos and make sure we keep our notes at a relatively high number. So far we're not doing so hot. We got 37, 38, 39, 40, not bad. We also got another Jinjo, just two more to get, and another one is actually right down here. So I wanna grab him and man. This is actually a really This is actually a really good first level. I just remember playing it over and over again. As a kid, I didn't even want to leave this place. I loved it that much. I don't know. I guess that's kind of silly, I know, but still nothing about the music and the setting. It's just all really cool. Gosh, I remember how much I played this game when I was in the first grade. I would literally tell, like, first graders about it, and they'd be like, that sounds stupid. I'm like, no, it's actually really cool. They want to believe me, because they're in the first grade, gosh dang it. <laughs> I'm done talking about my first great adventures. Let's actually head inside this giant uh, termite hill tower thing. Yeah, you actually have to come in here, so I recommend doing it. Hey, ugly, no bears allowed in Ticker's town. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Ticker. Whoever Ticker is, don't really know. I'll get out ASAP, I suppose, and this is where we're gonna get our next move. Let's roll into that, uh, I, I guess, Citizen of Mumbo's Mountain, don't really know how that works. And I think I missed a token. I call this the Beak Buster, jump in the air, and yeah, 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 we get it, Bottles. I'm gonna do your voice every time. I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. <laughs> get used to it, Nest Girl, you're gonna be using it a lot. Was that really your best insult, man? But no, yeah, every time we visit Bottles, he'll fill us up to that full health. That's pretty nice of him, so let's bash on these and get some more notes and stuff. There's actually a, another Jinjo hanging out in these... Uh, huts, so we want to find them, but there are also some baddies, and I can't remember which one to which. So let's just break all of them to be on the safe side. Oh no, I found him. Well, he's dead instantly. Yeah, the enemies in the first level not really too hard. And here's the fifth Jinjo. Yeah, it's gonna give us our um, I think six jig. Is that right? I don't know. No, that's our fifth. Okay, getting a little ahead of myself. The sixth one is actually really close to here, though. So let's do a backflip and find it. Gosh, I really. I don't like the sound of these things. <laughs> Every time I see them, I just destroy them. I don't even want the health. I just don't like that constant noise. Ugh, just kidding. Anyways, there is another Jiggy inside one of these huts. Get it. You want the Jiggies. You want the Jiggies. You want them. You want them. Anyways. In we Juju Mumbo's Totem Pole. Feed us with blue stones. Okay. i do that. And I don't really know if that's an accurate accent. That's kind of a... Uh, Almost Jamaican in a sense. I don't really think Jamaican people really have totem poles last time I checked. Anyways, before you destroy the totem pole, you actually want to get that empty honeycomb and, well, just get it. Because you want to get them all. So, so far, we're doing pretty decently. Oh, yeah, there's the other mumbo token. Okay, no, that's four. I must be missing one then. Alright. Time for. Oh, I did miss it, I think. I totally did. There's one over near the talent trot. Uh, tutorial thing. Let's get that real quick. I just like doing that with uh, Kazoo. He just makes such a funny noise. And right behind here is gonna be another one of these. But I guess before we do that, we might as well backtrack to Konga's uh, little area. Because if you see over there, there's a switch. Which before we really couldn't hit because we didn't have the Beak Buster or whatever it's called. Don't recall. I'm pretty sure that's called that. <laughs> it's been a while, guys. Sorry, I've, I've neglected Banjo. I actually I have the game for N64 too, but. The cartridge was tilting way too often. I might have a faulty um, N64, actually. I'm not sure about that. But anyways, when you find these buttons in the levels, it's actually going to spawn um, Jiggies in the overworld, which is how we get Jiggies there. So that's pretty nice. Well, now we're done with that. Let's get out of Kunga's little tree house area and get back up to Mumbo's Mountain, which is what the level is called. Oh, yes, it is called that. And yeah, Mumbo is honestly... Oh gosh, could you imagine the game without Mumbo, dude, and all his transformations? But I'm getting ahead of myself again. Really quick, though, before we do that... Oh gosh, I'm so scatterbrained in this Let's Play, guys. <laughs> There's just so much to do, and you can do it in basically any order. The second level's even worse about that. It's just like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? It's kind of... You're just all over the place. Alright, let's get some more notes. Get these, alright. So once we get these, I think we'll have almost every note in the level. Yeah, we got that ginger over there, so that's good. Now we're missing is one of the empty honeycombs. Oh my gosh, can I get that? I think two jiggies. And then this level will be done. I really didn't want to beat it that quickly, but I guess we... There is another jiggy. Um, actually in Mumbo's 
house's eye socket, which is kind of a cool place to put it, but uh, yeah. you gotta do is you gotta do a backflip, and, well, it's yours, it's probably just basically handing it to you, it's not hard to get, honestly. And now all we need is one more Jiggy. So let's go ahead and get that, and say hello to one of my favorite side characters in the entire series. Uh, me Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can't help Banjo and Filthy bear that one. Watch it, hot boy. <laughs> Mumbo's magic token hid by witch. Find tokens, and Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on score and press X to see Mighty Mumbo's magic. Okay. We'll do just that after I steal some notes from you, bud. And yeah, right here you can see he needs five Ecom tokens, which are also known as Mumbo tokens. They make that noise when you pick them up, so it's just become kind of a fan name of it. It's like Ecom token. It's kind of fun to say. And for the first transformation, he's going to turn us into a termite. Mama's magic free to change back. You come when ready. Yeah. And termite bite. Small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice. Alright. So that's pretty cool. So now with this, we can actually do a couple of things. Mostly in Ticker's Tower, which, as Banjo and Kazooie, we can't really do too much with. And look at the little termite. He's cool. Nice first transformation. He will, as he hinted to, progressively get cooler ones, so don't think that's the end of it. Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them. <laughs> He's gonna try and take my shorts, but I give him up my yellow shorts. Because I like my yellow shorts. I actually have a pair of yellow shorts. They're kind of like banjos, but they don't nearly have as much room. And oh my gosh, we got 100 notes. That is the maximum amount of notes we can get in this world, and well done. You're going to need to collect notes if you want to beat the game, basically. There's going to be things called note doors, and we're eventually going to have to break all of those. But, if you get at least 100 in every single level, or you miss a couple, you'll be fine. And hey, we're on top of Ticker's Tower. Let's get an extra life. Keep on going. Let's climb up here a little bit. And here is the final Jiggy of the world. Now, when you collect 10 Jiggies, Banjo's going to do a pretty cool little dance. But, because we're in termite form... He won't do it. We'll just get the fan fail, which is also pretty cool. But before we go, uh, we want to pick up this empty hummy comb. Now let's check out our totals. And if I did everything correctly, yeah, we got everything. So once you have everything, there's honestly not much to do. If you've activated the um, <laughs> exterior world switch to give a jiggy in the overworld, you're pretty much done. And that's it. That's Mumbles Mountain. A pretty good first level, but I still hunger for more. And yeah, I don't know how quickly we're going to beat this game, guys. It seems like I'm doing pretty well. I mean, I remember it somewhat, and... Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them! Okay, uh, that's cool. Now, mumble magic, get weak. I don't want to come back. Or magic go. Eh, I'm just going to keep on going. doesn't really affect me. Magic all gone. Must go back. Bear and bone. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much all Mumbo's Mountain has to offer. We're really never going to go back there, which is kind of a bummer, but... Eh. Oh my gosh, just this this area in particular is so nostalgic for me. <laughs> I remember trying to convince my mom to build like a, mo a room like this out of her old shed. I didn't really understand how like mass and stuff works, you know. It's kind of stupid. Anyways, before we go though, let's talk to Bottles. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful magical spells. Open it, Jam Jars. <laughs> it's not that simple. To open it, you must collect these magical notes. Musical notes. I can't talk today. The number on the door. <laughs> it's like, how many do we need? It says 50 right there, Banjo. Come on. Use your noggin. <laughs> so yes, we have well over 50 notes. That door is gone. Simple. Easy. Get out of here. And yeah. Now we can continue on with the rest of the oh, castle. That door was easy to get past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. <laughs> yeah, yeah, grunty. So yeah, now we're on another floor of her lair. But that's going to pretty much do it for this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In this episode, we cleared all of Mumbo's Mountain 100%. In the next episode, I think we're going to head to the next level. So see you guys then. But before we go, when you open a world door, bodies escape and roam once more. <laughs> Okay, that's the last one I got in me for today. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next part.